I meet collectors from multi-millionaires to people that have saved their last penny just to get that one item. I buy anything, I can make a dollar profit to $10,000 profit. To me, profit is a profit. My name is Colin Wolf Bowman and I'm a Collectibles Mercenary. Me and Colin are always looking for new media or collectibles for our store. I've bought and sold millions of dollars of memorabilia, movie props, collectibles, toys. If it has a value, I've probably bought it. I got into this industry because, like everyone, I'm a movie fan. From the age of eight years old, I dumpster dive trying to find posters and scripts, and you know, I just got hooked. Every movie out there, I probably touched something from it and uh, sold it. Colin knows everyone in this industry. He knows how to turn profits, and he knows what to flip and what's valuable. I'm John Rowland. I'm a media collector. I have everything from laser discs, VHS tapes, autograph memorabilia. I have the, the rarest laser disc ever released. It usually sells for about $6,500 if it's sealed. John's a good foil for me. I personally prefer quick flips, and Colin is more of an investor. That's why we work so well together. He has his forte, and I have my forte. We're about to go to LCW Props, five warehouses full of stuff from movies, television, everything that we could ever want to find. Just everything here, lights and blinks, it's for the movie industry. Rockets, missiles, detonators, robots. When you have a business the size of his business, it impressed me that he actually knows where everything is and what it was used for. These are some manacles that were from a popular TV show, Star Trek. I'm pretty sure they're cyborg. Let me show you what I got in tombstones over here, Colin. There's some good stuff. Yeah, this one's actually made out of granite. It's very heavy. I always assumed it came out of Hocus Pocus because of the name. How much should we talk about? Probably 1,500 bucks. How about 1,000? If I can prove that this was in the movie, then I'm happy to pay what you ask him. Just authenticating the pieces is one of the biggest parts of our job. This is a fun piece. Yeah, now was he actually used on screen or is he... No, he, he came out of the company that did all the graphics for Hellboy. For me, it's got to be all about the show, it's got to be something special, and it's got to give me the maximum profit. Is uh, he something you want to sell? I would sell him, but he's a little pricey. Needs a little bit of work. 4500 I've had some offers on him for like about 4000 4500 and I've turned them down. 4750 I'm worried about him deteriorating, so I would do that. I would sell him for $47.50. And you'll be the only one in town that has one. Okay, you're in for a treat now. Remember dumpster diving? Well, this is kind of a similar thing. This is what picking is all about. I'm Sean Spencer. I just inherited this building from my father. It's got a lot of stuff in there. Uh, I invited Colin and John over so they can uh, take a look and hopefully we can break a deal. Sean! Sure. I believe you've got something for us to see. People don't really know what they have. You know, they'll inherit something or they'll find something at a yard sale. That's my favorites. All right. Here's a, here's a couple hundred dollar bills right here. This is a 1999 uh, Japan release of American Beauty. It can be up to $100 extra for just this piece of paper right because here. Because it's got Japanese writing. This was never released in America. This was a Japanese only release, so this is very rare. We might have found something right here. What do you got? It's a limited edition. Zombies are popular, but I'm not going to be able to make you an offer. But I have some experts that I can call and uh, get them over. My name is Del Howison, known as Dark Del. I'm an expert in the horror genre in different areas of it. Colin and John just called me. Uh, they found an item they think might be worth something. We'll find out. Oh, look at here. A little zombie action, huh? This is from uh, Lucio Fulci's film uh, Zombie 2. It was uh, limited to um, a thousand. How much do you think it's worth? In this condition, I would say $30. Seriously? My cell phone never stops. We get literally hundreds of tips a week. Just got a great tip about a place called Cinema Vehicles. I've heard that they've got some amazing, never before seen props that have come straight out of the studios. And that is gold. Let's go. Let's check it out. Come on. My name's John from Hollywood Parts. We get pieces from all over. We've got MGM stuff, we've got Disney stuff. I really think of ourselves as pop culture archeologists. You must be John. 
I am John. How John, are you doing? John as well. Pleasure to meet you, John. Walked me around. John has out as a piece that I instantly knew what it was. <laughs> I never thought I'd actually get to see this. This is a Rolls Royce Phantom II Coupe, 1935. You know this one, huh? Yeah. Sorcerer's Apprentice? Yes, sir. Oh, Nicholas Cage. We knew some clientele that could take that car off our hands easily. This is a one of a kind, and this really is the hero car. For all intents and purposes, Nicholas Cage's was the nice one, the real one, $500,000 worth. But this is the one you see driving all those insane car chases. We talked. Mm -hmm. We really want it. It's going to hurt. $120,000. Not even close. The Rolls Royce, I, they were way too low. It was insured for $250,000. We're going to go back on this when I can actually find a buyer for the car. I know where it is. I know what he wants. The Rolls Royce was a little bit out of our price range, but I'm glad personally we walked away. Hey, what's this? Read that. Number one hero pulse cannon. Now we're talking. Um, you guys want to take a look? Yeah, here. Let's see this box. There's been some great movies that have pulse cannons in it. <laughs> Jackpot! Yeah, big time. Uh, I totally forgot about this thing. This, my friends, is a vehicle-mounted pulse cannon from G.I. Joe. It actually has hydraulic-mounted uh, controls, so it bolts down on top of whatever you want to sit it on, flip a switch, and it rises up and pivots around. This is really something This is you more could of do. my speed, I yeah. would say, so. What were you thinking on this? About three grand. Three grand. What do you say about 1750? Going up here. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, 29. Uh, the best I can do is going to be 22. 25. 25. 25, right on. All right. Excellent. As soon as he saw the pulse cannon, his, his eyes lit up. I was just knew he was going to want that piece. The pulse cannon was a great buy for our shop. We have a lot of buyers for it. As much fun as it is to find the treasures, selling them is what motivates me. Colin is a hell of a negotiator. When he wants something, he will get that out of me. It's all about the show and getting people into the store. And when they walk into your store, they go, wow, look at this. Always looking for something that gives you that human connection with the people you idolize.